Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, I'm Rob from RobNonFoto.com and I'd like to share with you a quick review of the Low Pro Mini Trekker camera bag that I picked up from one of our local car boots for about um, £10 a couple of weeks ago. Uh, you'll have to bear with me, I think the camera's having a little bit of trouble focusing on the black camera bag, but I'm a bit of a um, fan of um, Low Pro bags. I've got several now. I've got well, when I say several, I think I mean I've got about four. Um, let's just turn this around so we can actually focus a little bit better. Um, I've got the uh, 400AW, a really big backpack. I've got the uh, Photo Runner, which is a most excellent um, uh, kind of over the shoulder number. I've got a couple of top loaders and uh, now I've got this uh, medium sized um, photo photo bag so what I thought I would do is kind of give you an idea of roughly what you can put into it I don't think they make the Mini Trekker anymore but you might find one second hand or you might well find the modern equivalent it's made out of tough I guess it's ripstop nylon um, and um, as you can see it's a backpack type with two nice large shoulder um, pads and a uh, pelvis uh, or a or a belt to go around as well to take the weight off your off your hips um, and um, the main design is inside so if we open open up here you can see that this bit flaps out and we've got a nice really deep uh, central portion for your for your camera kit nice and well padded all these like dividers are on velcro so you can move them around and then we've got some pockets up here and as photographers we like pockets and there's some nice little touches like the little covers um, that stop the uh, zips from scratching any of your kit so what have we got in the in the camera well my uh, DSLR so we've got the 350D with the 18 to 55 IS lens and the superb R strap if you ever want a new camera strap for your camera make sure you get an R strap they're brilliant um, nestled away underneath here we've then got the 55 to 250 IS lens with the um, lens hood on the wrong way obviously for storage purposes over in this corner here um, we've got the uh, nifty 50 we've got the 50 uh, um, f1.8 mark 1 version that's why so it gets treated especially carefully in its own little separate box as well because it's probably one of the i don't know beautiful lens beautiful lens anyway uh, if you check my photo if you check my the other videos on my youtube channel if you can understand what i'm saying tonight um i've done a review of that lens so we've got you know my three main lenses that i use um i haven't put any of my M42 on my macro lenses because in this kind of setup it's more sort of a day bag come portrait stuff because I put some flashes in here as well so we've got a nice little gorilla pod there um, great for the camera or the flashes and then what you can see underneath this bit is we've got a uh, Yongnuo YN560 Mark 1 uh, fully manual flash and then in this sort of top bit of the bag we've got the JJC wireless trigger system so there's the master that goes on top of your camera and there's a couple of the uh, the slaves that trigger the flashes wirelessly nice cheap little system and then what you can see over on this side is we've got another mini gorilla pod um, great for mounting flashes on and then underneath here we've got the second flash which is a Yongnuo YN460 Mark II, um, another budget uh, flash, great for off-camera work though, if you want to get into it because they're very, very cheap. Um, and with this sort of kit in the bag, um, it's not particularly heavy, you can wear it all day and you're not going to be bogged down. If I was out just on an ordinary photo walk, I probably wouldn't take something like the um, the mini tracker unless I was going to use flash I would go back to my uh, my photo runner but let's have a look what else we've got up here so what have we got um, 
I've got my uh, strobus gels to colour correct or create some cool effects with the gels with the flashes sorry and then in this pocket I've got my oh loads and loads of elastic bands great for fixing gels onto flashes snoops and all that sort of business um, obviously you could fit a lot more in here um, I've got a whole section here that is completely empty that you could put all sorts of stuff in maps guides um, paper well snoots gobos all that sort of stuff for your flashes various other accessories and then we've got another big pocket on the front and this is where I've got some of my other sort of basic accessories things like um, uh, lens cloth blower um, spare lens cap what else have we got um, compact flashcards hey you see how far I am behind the times <laughs> two, gig two gigabyte compact flashcards not bad eh um, business cards if anybody wants to know who I am where to find me or the website and stuff uh, remote trigger spare battery um, what else have we got spare um, lens cap the other end I normally have a body cap as well, polarising filter and I think that's about it really so again this is just a lightweight setup, it's not a situation where you would be taking everything with you um, but this isn't you know, where it ends for the Mini Trekker it's still got some other features up its, up its sleeveys let me just seal that up um, what we've also got then just underneath here if you pop this open we've got another pocket but then we've also got you can probably just about see it here is a one of those little feet for your tripod so you can slot your tripod in um, and it sort of goes up the back so that will hold on again it's all held in place with velcro um, or if the going gets really tough and really rainy underneath you can pop out the rain cover to go all the way around and that fits nice and snugly around the um, backpack and then you can pull it tight with the drawstrings if you get caught out in their severe downpours obviously for normal if it just sort of, sort of, sort of starts raining a little bit um, you don't need to worry about that because it will be shower resistant this particular uh, camera bag if it really starts raining hard then you'd you know you'd want to put that cover on as well so there we go the low pro mini trekker aw camera bag um, a really good sort of medium sized photo bag that will take lots of your kit um, and if you are in the market for a camera bag you know the mistake I made with the 400 AW was getting a bag that was just way too big um, because if you get a camera that's way too big you tend to overload it so it's too heavy so you don't like taking it out or you underload it and all your stuff starts bouncing around in it all the time where a bag this size is pretty much perfect for a body a few lenses some flashes and you know all the other accessories you need to have a grand day out without being um, massively overweight and turning your photographic expedition into into something of a hard slog so there we go low pro mini trekker aw my name's rob from robnonphoto.com make sure you ch check out the blog make sure you check out the sel podcast and you know um, subscribe to the youtube channel thanks for watching